guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i know it looks a little different in the background but that is because we are going to go ahead and get into our 2021 vision board so i have already started planning some things for 2021 so i was like i don't have a vision board yet so let's go ahead and get all of that into one document into one piece of visual thingy majid that I can see we are going to be doing a digital vision board because I am trying to minim minimize the amount of paper and things of that nature that I use and having to cut out magazines and all of that stuff can get a little time consuming and frustrating a little bit so when you have Google and Pinterest and other things like that you can easily just search for pictures that you want and digitally create your vision board so that's what we are going to do today. So before finding pictures, I did make a list of the things I wanted to include. So first things first, we are going to go ahead and find the pictures that we would like to use for our vision board. So one of the main tasks is finding good quality pictures for the theme or aesthetic that you are going for. And if you aren't, this process may be a little easier for you. First up, I wanted to go ahead and find a grad cap that I actually like because I am expecting to graduate in May 2021 with my master's degree. So I wanted to find a grad cap that I like. With some of the pictures that I wanted to use, I made sure that I got more than what I needed just in case one picture didn't look well with the other pictures I had some to choose from. I go ahead and head over to Google because I wasn't seeing much on Pinterest that sparked my interest in terms of the grad cap design. And I didn't really have any luck on the Google images for this topic that I was searching for. So I went back to Pinterest and I began to look at a black girl in the workplace. I believe it is important to find people that look like you when doing this vision board. And I am hoping to start a job in my field when I graduate with my master's in May. I made sure I download these images and I repeat the process for all of the items that I had on my list to include in my vision board. So on my list, I did have YouTube up there. I do want to continue growing on YouTube and I also want to continue posting consistently. So right here, I'm just screenshotting my banner on YouTube to include in the vision board. So after we have gathered all the pictures and downloaded them to our desktop, then we go into importing them into Canva. There are tons of websites that you can use to create this vision board, but I find that using Canva is a little bit easy and it doesn't require a lot of steps. So once in Canva, I am actually going to have the dimensions of a desktop wallpaper in case I want to have it as the background on my computer screen. You can choose whatever dimensions you would like and then you want to go ahead and import those photos. I like to highlight them all because it's just easier. And right here, I'm just showing you how you can get the pictures on the screen. It's easier to just click on the picture and then it'll pop up on the screen so you don't have to worry about it trying to cover up the whole white square. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and import the pictures and design it how I think looks best. So I did take a screenshot of my Instagram profile because I do want to post more on Instagram in 2021, but the picture was white. So I did want to have like a border around it so it wouldn't clash with my YouTube banner. And of course I wanted to add myself up here because it kind of just gives me that you can do all of these things up here. Like yes, you can achieve those things. So I did include a picture of myself and in Canva you can add text and that is what I'm doing right here. And with Canva, they have like a lot of features up here. So you literally can design this vision board however you would like. Mm. 
So once I'm satisfied with the board, I am going to go ahead and download this onto my computer. And I'm going to make sure that it is on my desktop so it is easy to locate. So now I'm going to rename the vision board and then I am going to airdrop it to myself. If you are not using a MacBook for this, you can always email this image to yourself and you will have it on your phone. So that is it for this video, you guys. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it and I hope that you can actually use this information and use these steps to create your own vision board for 2021. Vision boards can be so helpful because you can use them to guide your goal setting. So when you come up with your vision, you know what you want your year to look like, but you always want to go back in later and write down those steps. How am I going to reach these goals? How am I going to achieve this vision? So that is one reason why you like vision boards. And I like the fact that I have did this vision board digitally because I'm able to send it to all of my um, devices. And whenever I want to look at it, I can easily have it accessible on my phone. But that is it for this video, you guys. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. See ya.